Yeah, good evening, Cheryl. I spoke to Governor Hochul shortly after she wrapped up meetings with some key congressional leaders, including Congressman Hakeem Jeffries of Brooklyn, who's, of course, the top Democrat in the House of Representatives. This as she continues to make her case to Washington as to why New York needs more help to deal with the migrant situation. Our state is under siege. We are the destination for the majority of the migrants. We need help. We need money. That's the message from Governor Kathy Hochul to leaders in Washington, and in particular, New York Republicans in Congress, as the state grapples with an influx of migrants. New York City itself, she says, is at capacity. You believe Mayor Adams is correct that there's going to have to be some burden sharing here? Yes. Yes, and we're helping him find places that will be welcoming, and there are plenty of those. Hochul says she's tasked her team with finding all available state properties that could serve as housing in hopes of providing some relief to the city. Clearly a SUNY campus lends itself to immediate help, but right. long term we have to have it freed by August. So what happens in August? Hochul has written to the Biden administration asking for more assistance, including with sheltering. While Hochul says they're still waiting for a response, she did note she's had multiple conversations with Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas in recent days. Is President Biden doing enough to help New York with this migrant situation? We talked about it the other day. He is working very hard. It's complicated. Hochul also called for expediting the process of granting work authorization to migrants, something she argues could help change the trajectory of the current crisis. 5,000 open farm jobs. Our farmers yeah. would embrace them. Hotels and restaurants and health care facilities. People are in desperate need of workers. They the migrants desperately need work. Hochul's visit to Washington comes as Democrats and Republicans are fighting over raising the debt ceiling. The government will be unable to pay all its bills as soon as June 1st if it cannot increase its borrowing. Hochul warned default would be cataclysmic, pointing to predictions of a massive decline in stocks and warning of the potential ripple effects on jobs associated with Wall Street. New York State will be the hardest hit state in the nation immediately if this happens. We have to pay our bills. Hochul also pushed back against Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley, who demanded Hochul pardon Daniel Penny for the subway chokehold death. I would think a former governor would know how a pardon works. It works after someone's been convicted of a crime. You don't pardon after there's just been an indictment, number one. Secondly, let the process play out. Circling back to the migrant situation, Cheryl, Hochul told me that more than 70,000 migrants have come to New York State, with over half of them currently being housed in New York City shelters. Cheryl? Kevin Pry in Washington.